the biosphere consists of two important components the biotic and the abiotic component. Now these two components they are continuously interacting with each other to make this system dynamic but a very stable one. So in this system there occurs a transfer of matter and energy between the various components. So let's now discuss about a process which helps in maintaining this balance of biosphere. In this lesson we are going to learn about the water cycle. The water cycle in nature is also known as hydrological cycle. There are various steps involved in water cycle. Let's see each of them. So firstly when the sun shines with the heat of the sun the water on the earth's surface it evaporates. It evaporates in the form of water vapor. Now these water vapors being lighter than the air they rise up. Now second as we know the plants continuously absorb water with the help of their roots. Now some of this water is utilized within their bodies for the process of photosynthesis and the excess of water it is removed from the plant body with the help of leaves and this process is called transpiration. So when these water vapors are released out of the plant again they rises up into the atmosphere. Also with the help of another process which is called as respiration these living plants they release some amount of water vapors. These water vapors they also add up into the atmosphere. In the next step the water vapors when they rise up they get cooled. So now these water vapors they condense to form tiny droplets of water. These tiny droplets of water they float in the sky and form the clouds. The tiny droplets of water they combine they join together to form big drops of water and these big drops of water they fall on the earth's surface in the form of rain. So now the rain water it falls on the water bodies and some of it it is absorbed by the soil and it retains in the form of soil water or underground water. Some of this water we bring to the earth's surface for our use from the wells or tube wells. It is also used by some terrestrial animals and plants for their various vital activities. So this way the water it had given out from the earth and now it is back on the earth's surface again. And finally the water cycle ends. This water cycle it basically continues over and over again throughout the season, throughout the year and so on. So student in this lesson now you have understood how the water cycle helps in maintaining a balance in the nature. 